banks. The places that secure our money and all of our valuable possessions. But in Bloxburg, where are we meant to put all of our money? Well, in today's video, I am building the Bank of Bloxburg. And at some point in this video, I'm going to be showing you the ultimate money saving hack. There is a way for you to move this money into a bank vault. So stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get building. So I'm going to start by doing the outside layout. And the bank's going to be pretty big because you think it's got to have a conference room, the sales room, the vault, the entrance, toilets. <laughs> we got to have everything. And I'm following Bloxburg's rule of thumb. No walls longer than about five or six. I've put six, so it's okay. This is our layout. It looks a little bit skew with, but that's because of this pillar on the side, I think. With the help of a couple more walls and a roof, this here is going to be a pillar that stretches over the top of the front arena and the rest is history <laughs> i will never say that again that was the cringiest thing ever <laughs> to neaten up this corner i'm just gonna add another little crevice as i call them and this pillar here is gonna be almost completely white i want to give it a little bit of sparkle so we are going to be adding these wooden planks and since normally they're a little bit too short we're gonna have to place them custom which <laughs> Uh, I'm not the best at guys. In fact, I'm actually the worst at it. There's no real point in this apart from to make the pillar look a little bit more decked out. And as usual, I've made it uneven. So let's fix that up a little. And then green. Normally I hate the green, but when I think of banks, I think of green. I think it's because money. When we think money, we think green. So I'll just add that all around the sides. And just because I am like a stressor about these kinds of things, I'm going to add a little pattern on the top, just a raised part of the roof. That actually does look really sick from the aerial view. And along the top here, I need to write Bank of Bloxburg. Now, <laughs> my handwriting is not the neatest, guys. If I was to open up a note, if I was to write, hello, <laughs> Look at my handwriting, guys. So how do you expect me to write Bank of Bloxburg? And when I tried to find a decal, all I could find was Bank of America. And I'm not even American, guys. I'm English, so I wouldn't be able to bank here. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and try and write Bank of Bloxburg. What I'm most scared about is like running out of space. We'll just risk it for a biscuit. Please do not in any way expect this to look neat. But I must admit, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. <gasps> the bees are so hard to do. They look like eights. <laughs> This is so funny, but I love it. I love it. It's a bit of me. The next step is I need a drink. I'm sorry. I've got a cracking headache, y'all. So I want to add a lot of glass windows, but I don't want to do that thing, you know, where they're all over the walls because I really feel like that doesn't look good in Bloxburg. So instead, I'm going to add a bunch of commercial ones. And then, of course, a commercial door. Do we have a, a revolving door. I feel like we should treat ourselves. And I'm going to completely ignore what I just said about these looking bad grouped together and group them together over here. And this is my bank. Next up, we need to make some posh pathway. I want all the posh peoples to be shopping at my bank. And we'll start off by not making this noob error so that the floor goes mental, mental, chicken oriental on me. Every good bank needs a car park because otherwise where are all your customers gonna park? As I said, it is gonna be posho town over here, people. We are putting these striped hedges and this, get out of it. No one needs a mailbox. Now, hopefully we have enough for to... <laughs> spoke too soon. I was going to say hopefully we have enough for exact amount of car parking spaces. And then I'll park some cars. That then leaves these spaces. All of these are going to be laced with these gorgeous fancy fountains. We're then going to use what's it called? A spiral. Oh my gosh. It's actually called a spiral. <gasps> This is fancy. You know this is going to take care of your money. I'm a big fussy person about making things even. I might just chop that end bit off and just make a second car park. Wonderbar, we can head inside the bank. We can head inside the bank. We're going to arrange the layout and then we're going to decide what order we're going to do it in. First of all, this here is got to be the entryway. In here is going to be the stair room. That is just obvious. Like this is a stair kind of area. As you come in, we're going to have sort of the platform up here. And that is going to be visible from this room, if that makes sense. <laughs> that definitely didn't make sense. What I mean is I'm going to have a sheet of glass here and then you're going to be able to look over. You see? Over here, we'll have another room, which is also accessible from where the stairs come up. I then put the same onto the other side. So we have our layout. It's going to be entryway, sales room, reception, vault, toilets, stairs. As we go upstairs, we're then going to have office, 
sales room, conference room. So I think we're going to start with the entry and reception and go straight to the vault. I honestly cannot wait. Entryway is basically just a fancy waiting room before you get to go into the main reception because banks actually get quite busy, especially on holidays. Everyone wants to withdraw their money for Christmas. <laughs> And we're going to do a building hack. It involves getting a convex painting. And I highly recommend doing this, guys. It's such a good hack. You make everything smooth, white, plastic. And all you type in here is literal gibberish. And gibberish is going to make it white. So you can leave it as it is. Or you can add a couple more decorations with the structural beams. This will be our wall paneling all around. And I'm feeling in the mood for customness. We're also going to do custom doors. Which, if you didn't catch that, you just add a modern fence gate. You can also even do these if you want to. I actually might do some of these in the conference rooms. Would you agree this is giving like privacy but also like there's a little bit of transparency going on. Whereas obviously in like the toilet and stuff you want complete transparency place. And it's only right to do like a classical checkered marble floor. Also I'm just adding some windows in here to brighten up the room because it's very depressing in here. And lots of you guys ask me what I do for my lighting. I make flint and I make it really bright flint because flint on its own is pretty dark. When you're in this waiting area you aren't even getting to go to speak to a sales assistant. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's just not happening. So they always have the most bougie seating areas. I actually feel like I'm in a restaurant when I'm in waiting rooms in banks. Not that I'm always in a bank, but when I do go, I'm like, yeah, this is the most fancy experience going. I'm then gonna use, where is it? It might be called Antique. It's not called antique, guys. Basically, this planter, the elegant plant pot. I thought, why don't we put our own tropical plants? Because did you know we can resize this thinner and taller? So we could have it, like, really big, but that would be a bit stupid. You are made of stupid. But we can make it like quite a nice shape and this actually like moves together So we'll certainly have one of them each side over on these bits We'll just have chairs rather than sofas. We'll finish the roof off with some structural beams Of course, this isn't the type of room you really want to clutter up So that is the entryway done now we can go into the reception and guys you thought it was grand one story Imagine it in this two-story room It is gonna be filled with splendor and then after this we can go to the vault And I'm so excited for that because because I'm gonna be revealing the way to save your money in Bloxburg and you can access it whenever you want. And other people might have done this, but I'm pretty sure they haven't. So you heard it here first, people. And the two main parts that are gonna make this room grand are the chandelier and the windows. We'll go in that order. We're gonna use Victor's chandelier because you've got to admit, guys, this is so much nicer than this. And it's only $1,501 more. Oh my gosh, when you walk through here, I love the view. I like the view. The windows are most certainly gonna be made out of these factory windows. It's like that TikTok trend. Things in my Bluxburg bank that just make sense. I don't think that looks too bad, you know? And I say you know an awful lot. As English people, in England, we just say you know and not too bad all the time. Anyway, let's get in these roof beams. And that is looking marvelous. Now we need to add the check-in desk. And this is where I'm gonna mix modern with this traditional vibe we've been doing throughout the whole video. I don't know why, but I just feel like the desk has to be the modern counter. I remember when I first joined Blockburg, one of the first things I ever built was a bank, but I built the Gringotts Bank and it was honestly so epic. But no, in real life, banks do not have goblins lined up on the side. So I really want Blocksburg to add these lamps. I don't know what they're called, but do you know what I mean? For the time being, I think this square one, colored dark green, I mean, I won't add too many or it's gonna end up looking like the bogeyman's house in here. And I've always found it just mind boggling how all our money is just online. Isn't that insane? insane. Money is literally not real. It's just a number on a screen, but then obviously it is real. It is so weird, isn't it? Then at the back, they actually will normally have cash drawers. This is filled with documents and valuables from regular customers. And normally they'll be gray because they're like made out of a really strong metal steel. And that was a good shout using these hair pin Because they, these are like really the most draw looking things in Bloxburg, aren't they? And then once again, each side, we're going to put these railings much like we did in the middle. Love it. And just like before, we'll have a couple more sitting bits in this room. That is perfect. So guys, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, the vault. And my vault 
secret. So we're first going to have to burrow underneath this room we have just done. Because of course the vault needs to go underground. And pfft, we've just exposed all these lights. But notice how I cleverly coloured the underneath of the tiles white over here before I copy and pasted them all. So now we have all of the ground white, which is nice. Everything needs to seem normal in this room. We don't want people knowing that this is the vault really. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to know. L-shaped carpet stairs it is. And the reason I've done this all marked it's not because I'm lazy. Okay, it is a bit because I'm lazy, but it's also because I wanted to add like a red carpet in here. Every bank I've ever been to, the actual room before you even go into the vault is made out of steel. So could you think how many people's things you're you're storing in here? I actually feel like kind of nervous building this. Sometimes Bloxburg feels so realistic. Like I feel like I actually shouldn't be in here right now because it's like a bank vault. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Next up, we're going to have to add some police. The walls down here are now gonna have to be double lock diamond plate. So once again down here, we are gonna need top-notch security guards. Step one, if you are in danger, train the these feels a real life I'll be on. Come running. And it's now time to build the vault door. So this, I will admit, is going to be tricky. What we're gonna put here is the, I think it's called seamless, yes, seamless flush door. But this is basically the Bloxburg way to get in. And now this just gives us free reign to build a vault door. And then the last thing that we need to add on here is like the handle. Oh! That is a perfect. Now it's time to go into the vault and tell you guys exactly how to store money. So we're gonna first need to place a podium into which the money is gonna go on. And it basically involves a wrapping station. I'm gonna run down and it'll take you through step by step how to do this. You are going to go up to the wrapping stand and press wrap gift and press money. The maximum money you can wrap up the last time I checked was $5,000 and you're gonna go all the way to the end and select gift bag, place it over there. As you can see, the money has left your bank and is now in the bag. As I'm editing this, I think I should just make clear, this is completely okay in Bloxburg. You are simply taking your own money and storing it in into a gift bag. This is something Bloxburg allows and it is all your own money. You're not cheating any more money. Just thought I would point that out there. I then did this five more times to store $25,000. If we go into my vault, then we can color these gold. And finally, to make them look like real gold bars, I put them on a transparent cube and then we resize it into the base. And there you go. You've got 25K in cash, which you can go and cash out at any time. So yeah, guys, that is the money saving hack isn't it genius so after that bombshell of a building hack let's add a couple more of these units in here i don't know what trophies i even have these days oh i have a lot i have a, have a best employee trophy and then on top i'm putting this glass finally on this side lots of banks actually store cars as well so we're going to store the newest go-kart in here we've not got much left to do now we've got obviously our meeting rooms and the offices but that's about it just before we get into that i'm going to quickly pop the staircase room in which as you can probably imagine it's just gonna be a room with stairs in really this room looks so so special and as for the bathroom I'm not gonna be worrying about doing like cubicles You know when there's a bunch in buildings like this They'll normally just have like an actual bathroom like you'd have at your house So what does that specifically entail you might be asking basically? I'm just gonna build a unit with like a really cool built-in shelf toilet We can also make the sink built in because we just drag it up like that We've got a built-in sink We'll add this disability handle because I want it to be accessible to everyone I couldn't help but add an LED light as well, guys. And what? I'm not, we don't need to add anything else. I, I was like, what else do we need? That is everything. Other than some panels, of course. As I said, we now have the one, two um, selling rooms. I forgot what they were called then. We have the conference room and the office. We're going to do the selling room first. And boy, oh boy, do I have ideas for you. And it involves these pillars and a giant painting. <laughs> That's right, guys. I'm going to be making dark panels, and this is going to be a dark-themed office room. I have no idea how this is going to look. Uh, I mean, these panels already look literally just like squares of chocolate. When you're in a sales room, it needs to be serious because you're, like, trying to withdraw your money. But I've seen in, like, films, when the criminals earn all their money, they then come to the bank to take it out or something. Um, I don't really know how it works, though. And obviously, the bank does not know that they're giving it to a criminal. We'll put the light on for a second because I legit can't see. Once again, the big 
guns in here get a nice yellow chair, whereas the visitors just get a measly green chair. And then I'm going to add a desk organizer, but technically this isn't an organizer, it's actually a printer, because they've got to print the money out or get it out. I don't know how they do it, but whatever it is, they're getting out of this little box here. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to add a piano, because I don't know what else to put in here. But that is absolutely fancy. So up on this one, ta-da, we have now done the upstairs one, looking absolutely as stunning as the downstairs one. Wow, it's like identical twins. So now at least two people can have these meetings at the same time. Over on this side, as I've said a gazillion times, is going to be a conference room. Also maybe the most expensive, because why are these 1,000 each? Oh, I had 800 grand at the beginning. We have 300 grand left. Oh, I spent 500k in one video. That is really troubling. And then I'm just going to put a TV onto this wall here. We might as well use the expensive one. And then here is basically going to be the office for all of the other bank people who don't have to really interact with anyone. So if you're a little bit of a shy soul, then this might be the place for you. So with all the basics up here, like the plants, etc, etc, over here is going to be the little floating island, as I like to call them. But yeah, we're not going to have much here. It's basically just the snack and coffee station for the employees. We'll add a cup for Barbara, Cut for James, one for Susan, one for Lenny, and one for Brenda. And since I don't want to actually go bankrupt, I will be giving them slightly cheaper desks up here. And it almost looks like a classroom, but it's not a classroom. And to save myself money from the computers, I decided I would add these cash registers as the computers. And with that, guys, Bank of Blocksburg, give it a round of applause. So guys, I feel like I should be dressed a little bit more appropriately for a bank. And apparently I have a suit, so oh, I've just changed my whole hair as well. <laughs> I am no longer True Reese's. I am now Sassy Susan, the bank manager. My bank of Blacksburg is valued... Okay, <laughs> I can't do the voice, but this plot values at 750 grand. So it's really got the price of a bank. Susan has kept the outside immaculate. We also have all of these fancy cars, like this is a Porsche. And Susan, be it more careful. Careful with these customers' cars, please. As we all know, the magic happens on the inside. Isn't that right, Susan? Don't talk to me! As you first walk in, you're greeted by the first entryway. And it looks sparse, but that is exactly how I wanted it to look. Just basically a cozy vibe before you make your way in to this room. The reception. So why you have to wait in here is basically just so we can make sure that you're not like a robber or just some like scam artist. One of the members of staff would sit behind here. And if you need to go and wait over here, here for a second then you'd wait in these chairs and we've just got to appreciate like the view as you look up here to the left we have our first sitting room or should i say sales room if we sit down here it looks so profesh doesn't it so you would sit here as a customer um being blocked by this cash machine and then they would sit here and they talk to you about like what do you need withdrawed and you can also access this zone from that door too on the other side of this gigantic room is the vault this would be held under lock and key always by these security guards. As we go down here, again, so, so much security. This vault door should theoretically open with a gorgeous sound, but since it's Blocksburg, we have to go through these, which once again, I've got to make sure to lock. And this is our gorgeous bank vault. I kept it sparse, but with the most luxury items. We have two rooms on this side. The first one is the bathroom. Look at this! And just next to it, we have the stair room. Once again, this feels so grand. I feel like I'm in Downton Abbey. We have more seating, beautiful sunlight coming through. And then as we go up to the gallery, we have a couple more rooms. So this is the conference room where I, as executive, would sit here. Or maybe I'd even stand here and be like, yo, Barbara, sit the hell down. And you can also look over, make sure no chaos is going on. And also over on this side, we basically just have another sales room. It's literally the exact same as the one from downstairs. And finally, we have the main workspace for eight employees. We even have a kitchen and they get a glorious view over the bank. I do hope all of you guys had a fun time watching me construct the Bank of Blacksburg. Please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I'll see you all next time.